Greetings everyone and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. In the last episode we began our little kingdom here. We've even got some defences which are kind of nice. You know what, on that note, let's uh, finish off these defences. We'll at least get these walls up to level 3. I'm not going to worry about building up the, the turrets on these sides just yet though. That'll that'll come in a little bit. What I want to do is I want to continue working on this side. Well, we've currently got 44 peasants. Uh, I would like more than that, frankly. I, I would like more, and I'd also like to build out the walls a little bit more on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, you've got more or less everything you need. Uh, you're being taxed, and you're very unhappy about that. Well, I'm sorry that I need money to have an army to protect you. You know, I'm just such a terrible overlord. Uh, well... In terms of our stone, I think the quarries that we've got is more than enough. We'll just build slower. So I'm, I'm going to block off this one. If we find that we're absolutely desperate, and I very much doubt we will be, then I'll change that. But for now, um, I'm fairly happy with just popping that there. Uh, what we will do over on this side then, we'll have another well, I think, around here. This will also help with uh, putting out any fires, perhaps, on things that are outside. I'm not sure what I might build out there, though. Ooh, here we are, our first Viking invasion. They are actually coming from the wrong side. Wow. Are they going to be dumb, or are they going to go around? Because usually they are smart about this. Usually they're much smarter about this. Are they actually going to attack on this side? Okay, well, fair enough. They may be going for this because this is all outside of the walls. So they're coming in, and our, our towers are automatically and leashing on them they've got a couple of people with torches that's a little bit of a worry and uh, we are already engaging with our ballista where are they they are yep they've set fire to two buildings and they're now trying to beat a hasty retreat can we take him out ha ha we got you before you can get away you scoundrel and our people are quickly putting out those fires it's a shame that we couldn't destroy the boat i wonder if that's even possible that would be amazing if it was uh let's have a look here are you going to be able to put that out in time? Well done, little peons. This is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'm reducing the taxes. Well done. Oh, I can't. Can I not reduce the taxes? No, I want... Uh, there we are. No taxes for anyone. Well done. This is a day of celebration. We turned back the Viking hordes. And I think we actually slew every single one of them. Well done. I am genuinely quite impressed. We're currently still hitting our food cap, so that's all well and good for now. You know what I think we're going to do? We're going to build a manor. We're going to build a big old manor right about here, because it's all um, barren land, so it's not going to be a, an issue for us. Let's rotate it to make sure the right uh, part is facing it. There we are. So the uh, I'm going to assume that that's the entryway into the uh, inner courtyard there. Uh, there we are. And then we'll build out some walls along here. I will probably have another road at the back. Yeah, so that way we can have farms along these fertile areas in the wall. Can just run all the way over there. I mean, down here we could do the same. But it's so finicky that I'd rather just cut it off there. And then we can, we can have like an exit point. Uh, perhaps even a, a, a town gate right there. Uh, if we aren't able to improve conditions, no more people will want to live in it. What do you mean? It's happiness is 78. You scallywag. You will have a happiness drop following every Viking raid, especially if people die. You'll, there are also things like plagues, uh, dragon attacks, anything like that. Starvation, if you go without food for a little while, then people are generally going to be very unhappy with that situation. Uh, let's see how much this gives us in population. That gives us a lot of bears. Let's actually slow this down. So, uh, road access, charcoal sh uh, shortage, yeah, I'll be fine. Well access wants neighbours. You really, really, you want neighbours? You're kidding me. Ah, all right then. Fair enough. Uh, we'll build you a little road out the back. Oh, no, that's the wrong place. But, um, no, no, it is really the wrong place. So, sorry, but we can't have that. So, that one needs to go. We'll build a little hut just down there. And that should be enough for you to have a neighbor hopefully they don't want mana neighbors because if they, if they want neighbors of the same sort of social standing as they are that's going to be a bit of a problem now why are these turned blue why are these are they growing something different uh flooded due to heavy rain oh okay well that makes sense that's actually pretty cool in fact uh that's also flooded right there hmm bit of a bit of a problem that one now down here we're gonna lose a little bit of efficiency on 
the windmill, but that's fine. Uh, I think that'll be okay. We definitely do need the windmill right now, though. So let's get that down, and then we'll get down some more farms. Right about there, all the way around. And then we'll continue our, our road up here. And in fact, uh, I'm thinking maybe another well. Just something over here, because we're probably going to be having a uh, gatehouse around here, I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, if I put it there, it's going to block the quarry to the iron, but we've got iron over there, and I've not really used iron much so far. Uh, I don't even know what it would be used for, so I've really not used it much so far. Uh, let's pop these down. There's all of our stone gone. So we're slowly building things up. Oh, wow. Massive fires. It's a forest fire. Really? Lightning? Did you just do this, Lightning? Lightning, you suck. You suck so bad. Don't burn all my trees. You scoundrel, you. Those don't grow back. This is not Settlers, where I've got a separate forester and woodcutter. And I can just send my forester out without a woodcutter for a few years and make sure that everything is rebuilt. My lord. Banish has a similar system, actually, as well. I, li I really like Banish. I should probably play that again at some point on the channel. Right, a terrible plague has uh, swept the land and 15 peasants have been taken ill. Well, poop. Because that requires a hospital. And I've just spent all my stone. Hmm, I have not planned well. Uh, what I could do, however, is... Hmm, that is actually going to be a real problem. A real problem. There's no easy place for me to place... Oh no, here we go. We'll pop this over here. We'll have a hospital dug into the tree line right back here. And that should be okay. And by the time we've managed to dig in there, we should be alright. Unfortunately, 13 peasants have died of the plague. That's going to affect their happiness. 26 sadness from recent plague deaths. Ouch. 11 churches recently um, too crowded. Ooh. Minus 11 churches recently too crowded. Really? I have no churches. Well, that would explain why they're too crowded, I suppose. But, uh, okay, one would have supposed that I'd need a church first before it could be crowded. However, they probably went to the keep to pray. Um, because of the plague, you know, they're, they're, they're seeking mercy from, from the gods. And I'm back. Sorry about that. Had to uh, go and take my meds. Ah, oh, hourly meds are so annoying. Uh, right, let's go ahead and pop this hospital in. Hopefully I'm not going to be too much longer on those. Uh, let's see. There we go. So we can now place our hospital, I think think that's the front there there we go that'll uh, help us from any future plagues now how are we doing for food we're actually doing okay for food we're the problem is now that we're not storing enough food i would say that, that would be the the biggest issue for us right now so what i'm thinking of doing is having another small granary just about here mm, i would rather have it so that i could actually have the granary facing mm. Let's see, is there any way I could do this? Any way that I could do it that would make sense, that is. Uh, I suppose I could, right here, yes. Let's go ahead and do that then. Let's take those tiles away and I'll have another small granny. It's going to be quite far away from these ones, but it is still going to allow us to store more. And that's the main thing for us to be concerned of there. All right, we'll get that built up. Uh, this one can also be built up, as I said it should be a long time ago. Now, you can just go ahead and set up the buildings as you need. So we'll pop one there. And we'll have two arrow towers here as well. There you go, and then they'll just get built once it's uh, available for them to be placed there. Oh, there we are. They're coming from the direction that I have no defenses. Oh, well, drat. They're going to set fire to everything. Scallywags, except uh, they may get close enough to some things to be shot. No, no one's actually gone in those yet. Quickly, put the fires out. They're kidnapping my people. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, well, that's what happens when you don't prioritize getting the defenses all the way around. So we just lost a lot of people. Um, that sucks. But uh, uh, we didn't actually lose any buildings, which, look, okay, it's going to sound harsh, but that's actually better <laughs> than, than not losing people. Because buildings cost resources, people just cost time. 
I would prefer to have this set up like this. There we go. And then we'll have a road right there, and then that should hook all of that up. Terrible plague has swept the, the land, and 17 peasants have been taken ill. Let's uh, check on you. You've got 44, and hopefully we're not going to lose too many as a result of that. Uh, so we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. Now, down here we could, I suppose, have maybe even some more um, houses there if we really wanted to. That is an option now. Or alternatively, and actually, yeah, we could do this. Let's go ahead and build another forester. Who would actually be able to uh, dig into the Lord's Forest around here, which wouldn't be too terrible for us. I mean, it would probably annoy the, the Lord, but uh, I'm assuming that these forests are more of the sort of conservation forests since they'd be planting the trees as they chop them down. So they're probably also game wardens. I mean, our happiness is reasonable. Churches are too crowded. We do need new ch churches then, but we've got no room out here for churches. Like, none. And the only place I could build a church would be out here, because churches are big structures. And uh, we're being raided by Vikings. I mean, come on, sticking the church out here, that's basically me saying, here's an offering, please don't raid my town. I'm not going to do that. No. Uh, what I could do, however, is I may, might be able to put the church over here. Um, could put, have it out on a pier, perhaps. Uh, or even... Oh, actually, yes, I, I, I could get rid of this and actually have the church built out here instead. That is... Not actually a bad idea. It's not actually a bad idea. However, what I would say it would be better for us if the church was closer to the the buildings because it does have an area of effect. Hmm. It does have an area of effect, and that area of effect is not particularly large. However, I could use piers perhaps to build it out. Hmm. Maybe actually. Okay, we're gonna try, we're gonna for size the piers. So let's go ahead and build out some piers, like so. This is gonna be an interesting one. We've got towers to protect the church. I don't think the church is gonna be happy about this, to be honest with you. Ooh, we're being assaulted by Vikings. And once again, they're coming from this side, which is good. They'll hit quite a lot of our defenses. Uh, one thing I could do is I could put a, an extra tower over here because I noticed there's not a lot of stuff defending there. There we go, they're getting killed very quickly. They made it through the tree line though, which I'm not very happy with, and they're, they're skedaddling. Okay, well fair enough. But that actually messed with our harvest, and winter arrived just afterwards. Well, scoundrels. But it looks like we actually got the whole harvest in, just. But uh, that is something to bear in mind. The, the, the single uh, Vikings can actually walk through the trees. I'm fairly certain that the yogas can't. But it's time for us to have our church. Can I place this down? Yes, I can. Marvellous. Uh, where's the way in? The, well, the way in would be on the side and the top. Well, yeah, sure. Okay. We'll place down... Let's go ahead and get another pier right there. And... There. And... No, no, don't put a pier out there. We will have a bridge linking over there onto the pier and then we'll have just a road going up to that entrance on the on the church and that'll look wonderful I think okay so that's going all right I am going to pop down a uh, just a purely a uh, tower there to protect this area but we are hurting for food we are definitely hurting for food and that needs to be resolved quite quickly okay so with that in mind we could go ahead and build up another um, area around here for uh, a windmill, or we could have an orchard there. Hmm. I think the windmill would be the better option. So let's go ahead with that. We'll bring our road one further in. Now the thing with this is where can I build? Oh, I can build that anyway, so that's fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll build up... A, another windmill right there and then some farms all the way around it what I'm gonna build there I don't know Ooh, something just broke down what just broke what just collapsed something collapsed it sounded like 
I'm not sure what it was, though. That was a bit of a concern. Currently, food-wise, we're not doing too badly at the moment. We're actually starting to recover a bit now. Uh, but wanting the bridge to go across? Yeah, probably do, in hindsight. So I'm going to chop down these again. And I'm afraid these are going to have to be the commissioned. We are going to lose out on a bit of the, the production there, unfortunately. But it'll look better, and that's what matters. Uh, I mean, I, it's what matters to me. I know it's not what matters to most of you, but it's what matters to me. And that's... I mean, look, I, I just like things looking good, okay? There we go. And over here, we can build out our path. And people can walk to the church. Perfect. Really? The keep is on fire? What? The Dickens. What the Dickens just happened there? I don't even think we can lose our keep. I don't think that's that's possible. Why was my keep on fire? I have no idea. Uh, may, maybe the peasants are revolting and then just setting my keep on fire. How, how scallywaggy of them. Uh, I'm going to have another storage area because we are actually having trouble storing all of our goods. You can notice that is completely full. We may need to find another spot or two around here to pop something down. In fact, we might pop something down, but they are not necessarily the smartest place to put it, though. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that one instead and put it there. It'll be a better area for it, I think. Right, there we go. That is finished. So we can pop in an archer tower, and that will guard the uh, the sort of market area. In fact, we should look towards building a market of some sort. Uh, that'll something that we can look into in a moment. There we go. Have another big old arch tower over there. In fact, no. Take down one of them. We'll have a ballista there, because we're going to have a big old arch tower right here instead. There we are. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I approve. Uh, okay, so with that, I think we've, we've done reasonably well. We've lost a bunch of people to the plague, um, which is not good. Oh, that's why. Aha, my hospital. Scallywags. There must have been a fire and then it spreads to the main keep. Okay, well, I mean, my people are not super happy about that, but I've still got a lot of people. Okay, and we've got a lot of food. We should be all right. But that is going to be it for this episode. In the next, we're going to start expanding out onto this island over here. I'm not sure really what we're going to be doing. Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? We'll wrap this episode up by seeing... Ooh, an ogre for the first time is what we're going to be seeing. Very well. Let's uh, watch that. this invasion. Where are they coming from? Are they just going to go straight over the, the bridge? Yes, they are. Those clever little scoundrels. Clever little scoundrels. Well done. I've given you a path into the kingdom that is not very well defended, and you've said, yeah, okay, I accept. Thank you very much, Avak. Very kind of you indeed. So I guess I'm going to need to uh, build this up there, aren't I? Put a, a gatehouse there or something. Now, the ogre, the ogre is a bit of a, well, a bit of a douche. Honestly, there's, there's no kind of way of putting it. He just likes to break my stuff. Thankfully, we have upgraded these towers a fair few times, so it's going to take him a while to break through. In that time, our massive amount of archers will probably put him down, but uh, might actually get through it, looking at it. And unfortunately, my ballista couldn't actually fire on it, which is a bit of a bit of an annoyance. But yeah, we'll probably put a gatehouse there, and maybe I should do the same over here, in fact. Build out piers around the edges, and then put a gatehouse. Um, in fact, in that case, I would need a pier there. Mm -hmm. Or to keep the symmetry. No, because that that's actually regular ground. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll actually have a gatehouse right here. So I'm going to demolish this. We'll build a pier all the way around, and then the next episode we will finish off enclosing this little area with our with our little uh, dock front church. And everything. In fact, just to make that look a little bit better, we'll pop that there as well. But that is going to be it from me. I do hope you're enjoying the series so far. But if you have any feedback, do let me know in the comments below. And as ever, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.